we are trying to fulfill one or uh, something so that ultimately we reach towards the sdg so uh, as we say that for the next please we are acting as catalyst to towards the achievement of sdg uh, next please as our name of the field says that you know we are concerned with the resource management so we mainly focus on the resources at the family as well as community level now uh, regarding the sdgs uh, we have found or we have worked out that all the sdgs we are working towards all the sdgs so we have worked out our uh, contribution or linkages with each and every sdg and the family so taking the first sdg and poverty in all its forms everywhere so uh, as we know that the reasons of poverty include unemployment social exclusion high vulnerability to certain population disease popular diseases or uh, other such phenomena which are uh, hampering the productivity of the people that ultimately leads to the poverty so uh, the contribution science has made towards uh, various uh, measures to eradicate poverty is access to safe drinking water reduced death caused by water borne diseases uh, improved hygiene and sanitation the science has helped in eradicating the poverty these measures to a great extent can we go to the next slide government of india has taken various initiatives very appreciable initiatives i would say that poverty eradication requires pursuing dual objectives first is pulling people out of the poverty and second sustaining poverty escapes so these can be achieved through social assistance programs and schemes and second second objective can be achieved through inclusive economic growth and skill development so uh, various initiatives taken by the government have been appreciated next some of the examples we have noted over here is anti poverty programs are manrega for generating employment uh, national rural livelihood mission deen dayal upadhyay gramin kaushal vikas yojana all these are known and this focus on generating employment skill development a uh, micro credit and capacity building to increase the employability there are certain social security programs also which help in building resilient and reduce exposure to vulnerability mainly they are related with the life insurance and there are other programs also which are for the basic services so a uh, poshan abhiyan swachh bharat mission pradhan mantri aawas yojana pradhan mantri ujwala yojana and so on these interventions are expected to yield better results over time in terms of alleviation of poverty next now the role of family resource management field uh we would concentrate on making people aware about the government schemes efforts to eradicate the poverty make aware and help communities to make self help groups make people aware about the facilities provided to senior citizens make them aware of various pension schemes create awareness and strive to improve practices of families to follow sanitation hygiene as you know it is commonly known through academics research and extension the educational institutions play a great role in social development there are these are the three areas through which the Uh, programs are dominated so we the fcrm people do much of community outreach programs that is extension and that is a platform where we can try to create awareness that is we uh, we can create through you know knowledge kap what is commonly known as creating knowledge influencing attitude and changing their practices so that is why what that is what we have tried to line out over here we give training we can give training to uh, training to enhance the capacities in families especially women and adolescents to uh, enhancing their financial status 
teach the families to manage the resources most efficiently, which is our prime area, the resource management. And, uh, you know, through making budget, how income we are getting through making the budget, they can use their resources judiciously. We can make people aware that men and women in particularly poor and vulnerable have equal rights and government facilities they should utilize. It is their responsibilities also not to misuse these facilities. Next, please. Now we have tried to work out the role of family as a part of uh, they should be a part of the health scheme or health insurance. They should follow safe sanitation and hygiene practices so that, you know, their family members can maintain health and they can avoid sickness and absenteeism from the work. And if they avoid absenteeism from the work, then they are able to get their regular wages, which can really alleviate their poverty. So if they keep good health, their income in the family is going to be constant one. Make all efforts to increase and enhance and strengthen the potentials to increase earning in the family and increase productivity. This is where all the family members can be trained to earn self-employment or getting gainful employment where the families should make efforts to earn, to learn and to earn. Take benefit of health schemes given by the government, senior citizens uh, who lack proper care at the home. There are government institutions which are there so they can be shifted there or they can take help of them. Families should see that their rights are exercised, but their responsibilities are also exercised. Um, they should uh, also help the government in their disaster management activities. Uh, their funds for uh, government gives funds for education and health. The families should take advantage of that, not to misuse them. And mainly, they should send their children for education. Next, uh, regarding SDG 2 and hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. We know that eliminating hunger is fundamental to all. It aims to eliminate all forms of hunger and double the agriculture production. Next, government. Next, please. Government initiatives have been taken in various forms. And this is a list of it. Next. Now, role of FRM specialist. Here, we can teach the families to manage their food resources in a very judicious way. We should make them aware of the nutrition part and how to prepare nutritious food, taking especially care of the adolescent girls, the pregnant lactating mothers, old and sick members in the family. So this is where we can really impress or we can really teach them. And uh, through extension work, many agricultural uh, tools have been improvised to reduce the drudgery of women. So uh, our uh, this is a very strong area in many of the agriculture universities where ergonomics is the field of our um, specialization and many um, instruments have been developed and they have been promoted. So it is uh, one of our FRM's responsibility to do the research and do the extension activity to promote these equipment so that the treasury are reduced. Next, please. This is the role of family. We should, the families should use the available food in the best possible way. Adolescent girls should be, you know, their blood should be checked, their iron tablets and nutrition should be taken care of. Uh, rural youth should come for non-farm employment because it has been observed that people, young crowd now does not want to go to the farm activities by and large. So they can select the non-farm employment where they can be at the rural area and yet gain employment by themselves. Uh, this is one thing which I would like to emphasize over here is that, you know, in Indian scenario, it is a tendency of women to eat food at the end. When 
food is given to all men folk and whatever is left over the women eat it but their their nutrition aspect is definitely affected so uh, uh, we should implement or we should influence the uh, families not to practice these kind of things respect is one the such improved practices another so this is what we try to uh, uh, tell the families when we go to the community outreach programs next please third sdg ensure healthy lives and promote well being for all at all the stages and this is also one of the global agenda that people should enjoy health at all the levels and preventable deaths across the all the ages through communicable and non communicable diseases uh, next please government of india has taken many initiatives in relation to this and there are numerous of them ayushman bharat and during the covid also we have seen good efforts by the government of india next next please the role of frm expert for ensuring healthy lives and promoting well being for all a guidance and training can be given to families following good practices to ensure health to family members this is very very important and um, we should make families aware regarding the government measures and motivate them to get regular health checkup to be done when we go to the community recently we also we had one program at uh, village area and there we tried to uh Im impress upon or contact the family members and parents and mothers especially to see that the health aspect is taken care of we taught them the nutrition so recipes whatever is available at the village level how to make in the best possible way and so uh, make in such a way that you know all the members of the family are getting the nutrition and especially concentrating on the adolescent girls and the women of the family role of the family if we try to say to participate in educational programs given by the experts of fcrm to follow good practices for healthy living to participate in initiatives schemes and programs conducted by the government they should see to it that the children in the family are vaccinated at proper time they are you know asha worker and anganwadis are doing a lot for the village level so they should cooperate with those activities of the government and they should take care you know uh, when on the onset of illness they should seek the help of professional uh, health care giver instead of you know postponing or prolonging the illness which may turn into the fatal one when it goes beyond the control of the family so it is the role of the family that if a person falls sick then at right time the treatment should be given so that there is no loss in the family next please the fourth sdg ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote life long learning opportunities for all so this aims at you know as the title says that you know everyone should be getting education equitable and at all the ages next please a uh, government has taken a good initiative right of children to free and compulsory education act where you know uh, many activities many schemes have been initiated and are being implemented by the government some of them are one of them very effective one is mid day meal which acts as a double cause mid day to get the meal the children go to the school and that increases the enrollment of the children in the school next please so this is very effective initiative by the government next please now we are going to have new education policy as well now role of fcrn we through community outreach programs we should make families aware about the part make sending children to the school and making them aware about various initiatives of the government and they should send uh, we should influence that you know uh, they should be sending all the children irrespective of gender they should be sending girls also to the school 
we know that you know girls education is a question because you know they are left you know they have to remain at home to take care of the siblings and do many of the household activities through our community outreach programs we should influence the families to change this kind of a practice the old age population can be encouraged motivated to share their expertise and to learn new skills so that is where frm uh, experts can target this old age people population as well next please role of families this is very very important that they should send children to school including the girls and motivate elderly women and old people to participate in the programs given by the fcrm experts so this is very important sdg 5 next please achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls and this is of prime importance uh we know that women and girls are a great population and very strong people in the uh, our government as well as in the society so uh, giving them the due place their due place they should be given respect next please india's goal for 2030 is empower all women to live and development of the uh, of the country in an environment free from violence and discrimination and government is working to hard towards this various acts have been passed to support the women and uh, some of them are beti bachao beti padhao campaign sukanya samriddhi yojana mudra yojana pradhan mantri ujwala yojana and other such schemes are floated by the government next please role of fcrm experts that we should educate women to take decisions uh, as it is commonly known that the faculty of home science has many women or girls as students now in our faculty many boys are also joining we make them gender sensitive but we are trying very best our very best to make the girls strong enough to take their own decision and empower them to earn their own living in the future life through offering various vocational courses and you know making them strong enough to go in the outer world and make themselves visible taking care of themselves um we can teach the girls self defense classes also here the role of family is also very important that they should send the girls to the schools for higher education also and they should teach the girls self defense they should motivate the girls to take their own decisions and equip them to take uh, care of themselves in future whatever circumstances arrive arise they should be taking care of themselves they also should be motivated to participate in the um governmental activities um uh, uh from here dr sarjo patel will be talking about other uh, goals at length uh, dr sarjo patel yeah ma'am thank you ma'am yeah. yeah next ma'am <clears throat> now the uh, next sustainable development goal is clean water and sanitation for all it is very very important for all human beings to have that access to clean water and for this uh, the government has uh, come up with the global agenda of providing green, green clean water to all the villages and they are doing a lot of work in this direction so that people can and have an access to uh, clean water as well as sanitation which we all experienced in during the covid times next please 
Uh, now, the targets to be achieved by 2030 by the government were to achieve universal and equitable access to safe and affordable uh, drinking water for all, have adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all, and end up with the open defecation, which was a common problem among the village uh, people. So, uh, through means of um, various programs conducted by the government in uh, view of making people aware that why it is not good and not, um, uh, you know, a lot of diseases are spread through the open defecation and they are conducting lot many programs utilizing uh, the Balwadi people, the extension people, involving them to generate the awareness among the villagers. And by 2030, they are trying to improve water quality by reducing the pollution, elimination, eliminating the dumping and minimizing and minimizing of the release of hazardous chemicals and materials. For this, uh, you know, uh, uh, support and strengthen the participation of local communities in improving water and sanitation management is important. Next. Here, um, you know, the role of an FRM um, community plays a very major role in terms of research, extension, and teaching as well. Uh, safe drinking water and sanitation uh, is important for all human beings because we all want to have good health, and water is one of um, the major cause of um, falling ill. Therefore, um, the first motto of the extension community here, the teachers who are working in in fields is to make people aware of how to store the water also so that is very very important and during monsoon why we need to boil water and then only consume so many national initiatives were taken uh, by the government such as swachh bharat mission national rural drinking water program and national mission for clean ganga that is namami gange and uh, there, 96% uh, of the targeted households had toilets um, constructed in November 2018. And 3.9 lakh villages across India have been verified to be open defecation free. So this was a major um, achievement during this Swachh Bharat mission. Next. Uh, as a uh, lot many um, steps have been taken by the government of India and they have been successful also but much um, comes to the FRM uh, community where family resource management department plays a major role uh, through the medium of extension wherein um, the students are taken to the field and uh, the people are oriented about and made aware about why uh, the quality of water has to be good many researches are conducted in FRM field where uh, uh, such villages are targeted where there is not um, good quality of water and it is reported to the government NGOs wherein they come into the picture and um, make these people aware about why uh, quality of water is important for their health health and along with the FCRM uh, community the government the NGOs and other concerned authorities take various steps to teach the people the practice of proper storage of water and uh, why the safe drinking water habit is important to keep their health good. And it also plays the FRM uh, community the uh, people's behavior in terms of making successful in today's times wherein the role of the family is also important uh, when the um, homemaker is aware about what practices are good for the family members she becomes as she is the head of the family she is educated she is aware she can have an impact on the families and she can uh, provide uh, inculcate good practices for clean and safe drinking water among the family members so this is one of the mission of fcrm uh, community wherein uh, they can play an important role in educating the homemaker which in uh, case can um, educate the family members and wherein we can have a healthy community next please the uh, seventh SDG is affordable and clean energy. Now, government has made 
uh, innumerable efforts and the best effort they have made is the use of solar energy nowadays if we uh, go to the household maximum number of household are using the solar energy for electricity purposes initially it is a little costly when you get installed or the solar uh, power grid but afterwards in future it is very very affordable and lot of um, um, financial implications are um, not um, considered as a burden for this next n number of uh, schemes are there government has launched various schemes that is the national solar mission dedicated green energy corridor the lpg subsidy din dayal upadhyay gram jyoti yojana pradhan mantri ujwala yojana then providing affordable led lights to everyone efficient building codes so these are innumerable um, schemes which are launched by the government and people are nowadays aware also about these schemes and they are using these kind of schemes so that we can get green and clean energy next now comes the role of fcrm the professional in the fcrm field has a has a vast role to play um, in our community where the researches are conducted at the masters level and phd level by the students and they are finding out various ways many um, interior design students are going for patents also recently we had received in patent on designing a solar run uh, food stall wherein uh, there are because uh, here in gujarat there is a culture of eating outside there are many food stalls food courts uh, build up and um, uh, they are use, using lpg cylinders so uh, to discourage use of this lpg cylinders we are uh, encouraging making people aware that the solar energy can also be installed on the stalls also so that you can get clean energy and you can save on the lpg cylinder which is very costly also and we have also recently designed a bench uh, which is one of the work of our research student for which she got patent also that is a bench which can be kept in the garden area of an household also or um, in the uh, commercial area also or in the commercial gardens also uh, and it is it has solar energy used for electricity so nowadays uh, the youth are motivated um, to use uh, mobiles after the covid times lot many uh, uh, children and the youth are using mobiles because they are habituated to study online uh, do the uh, online studies and therefore to discourage this uh, we have um, designed a solar uh, uh, bench wherein you can have electricity also uh, a charging point also and uh, the student the children who want to play in the garden and wants to charge their mobiles or maybe you, they can study they have they can get light also so these kind of practices and researches are done by the fcrm department wherein the government um, is also so uh, having a collaboration or the ngos are also made aware of the developments of the master students phd students and how they can create awareness about the energy efficient um, uh, maybe if it is a stall or a bench or how to um, uh, encourage people to use the solar lights or maybe solar torches or um, you know nowadays uh, people have solar lights in the gardens also uh, on the streets also this is one way of encouraging the common uh, people about the use of the solar energy so that is very very important uh, using uh, led using more of solar and using less of lpg next Uh, the eighth SD, uh, SDG is decent work and economic growth. Everyone wants an um, opportunity wherein they can earn. So now uh, this is uh, there are many initiatives taken by the government wherein they are uh, um, really worried about the youth who are unemployed and how they can make them employed. Skill India and all the all these kinds of schemes are available, and you get loans also uh, at a very nominal uh, cost, or you uh, people are also. Uh, getting getting the uh, mobiles and uh, your um, uh, powerpoint also at a very uh, 0% rate of interest wherein uh, they can start their own entrepreneur they can develop their softwares they can uh, sit at home and earn also so economic growth is a, a major focus of the sdg next 
the government of india initiatives as i told are uh, the prime minister's employment generation program startup india skill india national apprent apprenticeship promotion and pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana the main target of these schemes are the youth of today and uh, the government is uh, making many initiatives to make them uh, employed so that they work in the right direction and the gdp of our country um, is also high next now comes the role of fcrm now pro promoting sustainable economic growth of the community is very very important here comes the role of fcrm uh, economics and the uh, students and the uh, phd students also lot of researches are conducted in this field um, people in the uh, extension activities go to the villages uh, generate um, uh, uh, skills among the adolescent girls the women and uh, they provide them the entrepreneurial skills also by which they can start their own startup they can have a small uh, entrepreneur of their own and can earn on their own to become self reliant or financially independent next Uh, SDG nine is industry innovation and infrastructure. Now it is very very important that the youth of today are uh, encouraged to have lot of innovative because they are very very um, they uh, they are exposed to the science and technology. They have innovative mind, but encouragement is also very very important, and the providing infrastructure also becomes very very important so that they can uh, start their own company, they can build a, a big industry, they can become an in owner of the industry we can have the gdp of our country very high uh, we don't have to rely on the other uh, countries and can build a strong india next government initiatives as i told you are the uh, pradhan mantri gram uh, sadak yojana bharat mala sagar mala make in india digital india and aadhar programs next now the role of fcrm department here is uh, because there are many government initiatives but there has to be awareness among the youth uh, the homemakers the adolescent girls wherein they are not aware of what are the government initiatives taken and how uh, they can participate in that how um, why it is very very important for us to have an aadhar card made and we have to renew it so this is the work done by the fcrm uh, fraternity wherein they uh, provide awareness to the village Measures to the people who are not aware, and whatever guidance is required by them, uh, the uh, FCRM uh, academicians play a major role in motivating them, guiding them, and uh, helping the members for uh, innovation and incubation facilities. Next. SDG 10, which is very important, is reduce in inequality within and among countries. Now, this is also the major goal of our government, wherein they are trying to increase the employment rate. They are motivating the people um, to start their own startup, wherein they can also employ certain people and provide employment opportunities to them also. So uh, we cannot uh, discriminate among anyone. Women are now a days given lot of importance. They are given seats everywhere, even in politics also. So, reduce in inequality becomes very, very important. And here, the home science fraternity is the best example of this. Next. government initiatives that is pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana prime minister's employment generation programs the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act and din dayal upadhyay gramin kaushal yojana as a as as well as the stand up india schemes these are various various government initiatives taken for our youths nowadays next now the role of fcrm department um, that is a um, major role wherein through the extension activities we teach women girls and youth to start their own enterprise because we um, teach them various skills like short um, uh, small small activities when you teach them fabric painting or diya making or candle making or embroidery or maybe stitching these skills can be further polished uh, they can be provided they can be you know uh, they can have a collaboration with the ngo they can have a collaboration with the government or those ngos which are working for the betterment of these communities and through this process if they once have the skills they can also start their own business they can employ people in this way 
employment is generated for different communities so that becomes the role of the fcrm and families uh, should have uh, an access to the accounts they should be aware that they need to open an account for jandhan yojana they should participate in the various initiatives taken by the government and take advantage of all these schemes because it is for their betterment next Uh, the SDG 11, that is sustainable cities and communities, which nowadays, um, because we see a lot of pollution everywhere, is very, very important. Nowadays, there is a concept of green building. Uh, everyone, if uh, we have seen during the COVID times, how important the oxygen is. Um, during the COVID days, most of the times, uh, people have uh, realized that uh, uh, growing trees or plantation at the home, which which all plants are there, which is which are giving maximum of oxygen we have the plants placed in our drawing rooms even in balconies corridors then inside the kitchen area also on the staircase also so that shows that oxygen is very very important for that the sdg 11 sustainable cities and communities becomes very very relevant next Government initiatives in this particular directions are also innumerable. Atal Mission for Regeneration and Urban Transformation is a very, very um, good step taken by the government as well as Smart Cities Mission. Next. The role of FCRM again here uh, because we belong to the field wherein we are also uh, making the interior designers a lot uh, of the our students that is the master students and PhD students are conducting researches wherein uh, they are um, making the people aware of the indoor air quality as well as how, what are the ways wherein you can improve the indoor air qualities that is what is the importance of keeping your doors and windows open during the daytime or in the the morning when you can have fresh air what is the importance of sunlight right so these all things are very very important and these things are to be passed on to the community also the community also need to be aware that what is the role of oxygen in our life what is the important of uh, growing more trees more plants into the indoor as well as ex uh, exterior part if we do not have the horizontal space inside our residences we go for um, the plantation vertically which is known as vertical garden we also have a kitchen garden in our um, uh, homes nowadays people are um, very very after covid times people are very very fond of having a kitchen garden on the of their own but due to lack of space they are not able to have it in the garden so we have one more concept that is you can have your uh, kitchen garden in the balconies you can have your kitchen garden in the containers even in the plastic bags also this is the recent development which is uh, coming up you can have your kitchen garden on the terraces also so people has have to be made aware of these techniques so that they have a solution for living in a greener com com uh, country next uh, next is sustainable consumption and production. Now, uh, sustainable consumption and production is a major agenda of the government, wherein uh, they are promoting the resource uh, efficiency, green economies, and sustainable infrastructure. It is also focusing on reducing the degradation and pollution and minimization of the waste. Next. Now, the government initiatives are in term of no national policy on biofuels and national clean energy fund. So they are promoting the biogas. Next. Now here, the role of FCRM uh, comes into picture where you are, we, we as experts are encouraging uh, the resource management within the families and communities. That is um, human resource is, um, you, there are ample way of utilizing the human resource in place of the uh, non-human resource. So that can be inculcated in the communities. You can uh, teach them a formal and uh, through formal and informal uh, methods that how this can be done, how important it is uh, to you know uh, utilize uh, the human resources more and save on the scarce resources which is very uh, important the community can also be taught of green consumers so that environment friendly products are purchased that also becomes very important that is you should say no to plastics encourage more of um, uh, paper bags uh, the those uh, environment um, environment friendly products which are good for the community and wherein less of waste is generated and you have have that concept of recycling into the community so this is very important next 
SDG 13 is climate change. Now uh, we know that um, uh, the main uh, culprit is carbon dioxide and global warming is a major concern. Greenhouse gas emission is on rise. We all are um, knowing this fact. There are many measures taken by the government also for this. Many uh, disasters we have faced and now uh, every time we face a disaster we come up with a solution and that is why SDG is inculcated in the curriculum of F CRM also. Next, the government initiatives uh, taken are a national action plan on climate change and in national in uh, air quality monitoring program. Um, every time we hear in the news that uh, what is the amount of pollution in the air in the metro cities we experience uh, this daily that is the air quality is very poor especially in uh, New Delhi our capital where it is a very very polluted city in Mumbai very polluted city so these kind of um, uh, initiatives are taken by the government we are where they are trying to regulate uh, the air quality through various ways and the role of FCRM department is making uh, people aware, educating them about the disaster, teaching them about how to manage these disasters, what measures the um, households can take and indirectly if household take the uh, measures then it is definitely um, going to affect the entire community and then to wider to the entire nation. So you need to make the families aware, which is the role of FCRM department. That is, we have to think globally. Now, SDG 14, that is life below water. Uh, life below water, we are concerned about ourselves saving the human lives, but we should not forget that. We are also, we should also be aware about the aquatic um, animals, plants. That is also very, very important. Next. Uh, so the role of um, FCRM department is supporting the government initiative, uh, government researches, making the people aware not to pol uh, pollute our rivers, our lakes, our coastlines, make the tourists aware, stop them from polluting the environment, polluting water, polluting the rivers, uh, polluting the coastal lines. That is very, very important. And this can be done through the educational institutions. And we, we are in that case supporting the government activities. Next. Uh, SDG 15, that is life on land. It is a very, um, uh, you know, uh, agenda, global agenda of uh, entire community that is to protect, restore and promote sustainable use, use of terrestrial ecosystem, wherein we also seek to promote fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from the utilization of genetic resources. And for that, promote appropriate access to such resources and prevent, prevent um, poaching and trafficking of protected species of flora and fauna which is a uh, um, uh, very very special needs for us to make the people aware of this next government initiatives uh, in this direction that is the national environment policy and national agroforestry policy the national afforestation program conservation of natural resources in an ecosystem which is a very very important part of fcrm department next now, the role of FCRM, wherein we can play a major role through the use of the extension activities, through the use of our students, we can uh, prepare skits, we can prepare bhavai, we can prepare drama, wherein we can um, uh, generate awareness among the general people. Uh, this is a very interesting, folk form is an interesting form, uh, wherein we can uh, transfer this message, give the message to the uh, community, uh, wherein they can be made aware of conservation of their natural resources, and they follow certain practices for the conservation of our natural resources. Uh, this is one of the ways where we can help the government initiatives and activities and uh, inculcate these practices, change their behavior and their mindset towards uh, in this particular direction. Next. Uh, 16th is peace, justice and strong institution, which is very, very important for our community. It primarily focuses on significantly reducing all forms of violence and promoting the rule of law at the national and international levels to ensure equal access and justice to all. So many laws are passed for this. That is um, also that which also aims to end the abuse, exploitation, corruption and develop effective, accountable and transfer institutions uh, for and ensure inclusive and representative decision-making at all levels. Next. 
government initiatives are many in this direction uh, which is um, uh, for example the panchayats are the nodal uh, agencies uh, with decision making power so that is one of the developmental programs started by the government a uh, role of fcrm is next ma'am a uh, role of fcrm department is to incul inculcate the values of peace and justice uh, in people through formal and non formal education system formal can be through the teaching and non formal can be through the extension activities wherein uh, you can also uh, include that in your research part and make the people aware and change their mindset towards this and education is very very important in this regard because education is going to bring change in their value system influence the families for changing their perception also and practices for justice that is practice gender justice in the family and teach the values for non violence that is the role of the family members next uh, partnerships for the goals is very important to sdg it aims to enhance the global partnership for sustainable development uh, complemented by uh, multi stakeholders partnerships that mobilize and share knowledge expertise technology and financial resources it also aims to encourage and promote effective public private um, uh, you know collaboration and civil society partnerships here next please so here the role of fcrm is we are also collaborating as the academicians with the government with the ngos uh, many people who are ready to help in, even at individual level if we, if they are able, if they are ready to help the community we collaborate with the them we collaborate with the industries also and come out come out with solution to these kind of problems and create the uh, awareness among the local community next please now in conclusion we can say that the sustainable development goals have been set for the development of the entire world the government of india has taken significant in initiatives for its implementation but the department of fcrm through its academics research extension activities are supporting the government initiatives by collaborating with the industries by collaborating with the ngos by using our master students research students to reach towards these sustainable development goals so that the entire uh, community can live in an healthy environment peaceful environment and they influence the families through their community outreach programs that is the role of the fcrm department the families on the other hand who are the beneficiaries of the development programs and have right to avail the facilities must fulfill their responsibilities to fulfill the government expectation from them herein the homemakers are the major target of the fcrm department because they are the head of the family and if the head of the family is educated that the head of the family can influence the entire family members also and in the, in if one household is included he, that will go to the community also so sabka saath sabka vikas is the key line for stg thank you so the house is open for discussion